Hello, it's David from David Savory Electrical Services Limited, and I want you to brace your buttocks for some exciting news about this, the TIS MFT Pro Multifunction Tester. Back in October, I put together a video demonstrating this new kid on the block, and not many people have viewed it, perhaps because it's nearly an hour long and arguably about as much fun as stuffing a hot jacket potato up your bottom. So to cut a long story short, I kind of like the little fella, despite its unusual form factor and the, uh, the neck straps that I still find to be utterly perplexing. I was disappointed at the time to find that in order to use either the earth leakage or PQA function, I was required to fork out for an additional clamp adapter accessory at an eye-watering £445 with VAT. And needless to say, I haven't been able to justify parting with that many pennies just for that toy. So, uh, I mean, in realistic terms, that's 339 cans of Guinness original going by today's price in Sainsbury's, or uh, I suspect about 50 cans if you're watching this post-Brexit. However, however, whistles and bells aside, uh, the one thing which kept this tester in its case and off the van on a day-to-day -day basis was its hamstrung resistance function, which, as shown in the last video, only went up to 99.9 ohms. This, that scale is all well and good if you're only measuring an R1, R2 or rings end-to-end, -end, but on any given day, I can't guarantee I won't be called upon to measure something higher. If I wanted to test a heating element of a lower rating than about 529 watts, because I'm fault finding on a heated towel rail or an underfloor heating mat, then a uh, maximum resistance, a, ma a maximum value of 99.9 .9 ohms scale on here meant that this tester wouldn't have been able to help me. So after that last video was made, my new tester sat in its case in a dusty corner of my filthy office with the favoured Metrol MI3100S being used for the daily grind. Until today, that is. We took the Metrol out to SRM for calibration and decided to give the, uh, the TIS a little outing on the van to blow out the cobwebs off it. Uh, and as luck would have it, uh, also at SRM today was the TIS rep. And I explained to him that I liked his t MFT Pro, but I couldn't use it because of the limited resistance range. Well, here's the breaking news. TIS have a firmware update which ups the range to 1999 ohms and the rep kindly applied the update for me there and then. So suddenly this instrument has been propelled from the status of it's okay but to hang on for its price point this is actually rather capable. Apparently the new firmware also speeds up no trip ZS testing at least where the line isn't noisy and it introduces a new option for RCD testing which includes a ramp test as part of the auto test sequence. Uh, this is a model 1 instrument uh, and there is a model 2 uh, out there which from what I've seen looks about identical. One option that the model 2 offers which my version lacks even with the firmware update is a live auto test facility which allows you to get your RCD and ZS values in one go to save messing about switching between tests and reapplying probes. And I guess the upgradable firmware is a big plus point for this type of tester. When the manufacturer gets feedback of how it can be improved, then those improvements can be applied in future updates where the hardware allows. Now that the resistance stumbling block has been removed from for me from this tester, I intend to give it more time out in the trenches. Anyway, that's enough of my exciting news from today, so uh, I'll catch you next time and thanks for watching.